Hello and welcome to Screencast about models. So today we're going to talk about three new types of models and the first one is going to be exponential. So if a data set is going to be modeled by an exponential function, then the points obviously need to have some kind of an exponential shape to them. So if it's growth, it's going to you know start off kind of slow and then eventually swing way up. Or if it's decay, it's eventually or it's going to kind of start off decaying slowly and then really quickly. Oopsie, sorry. So this one is growth and this one is decay. Okay, so if you are using the T Texas Instruments TA83, TA84, whatever, um, you're going to want to use the EXPREG, which on our calculator is option number zero when you go over to the regression option. And then it's going to give you an equation of the form A times b to the x. Okay, next type up is our logarithmic. And again, if you have a data set that models this, it needs to kind of look like a log function. So a log function then kind of grows quickly and then kind of starts to settle down a little bit. Okay, so again, if you're using the Texas Instruments calculator, you're going to want to use the option of LN, which stands for natural log technically, REG, and that is option number 9. And that's going to give you an equation of the form Y equals A plus B LN of X. Okay, then the third form is going to be logistic. So logistic basically combines those two functions together. So it kind of starts to grow quickly like an exponential, or it starts off slow, then grows quickly, and then it kind of settles down like a log. Okay, so logistic, like I said, is kind of those two previous models pushed together. Okay, so if you're using the um, calculator, it actually just says logistic, and this is option number B. And then the form of this, oh, this one's kind of crazy. So you get y equals c over 1 plus a e to the negative bx. Okay, so this one definitely takes a lot more work if you have to do any sort of um, answering of questions for it or that kind of thing. Um, but otherwise, it's just like we've done before with previous problems um, where you just you know, we'll either plug in some values for x or maybe you have to solve for a or solve for something else. So anyway, keep practicing these and continue on with your models. Here are our credits, so thank you for watching.